Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It's Tuesday, the 6th of December. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, global stocks slid overnight on stronger than expected US economic data, raising the prospect that interest rates will stay higher for longer. Investors considered better than expected service sector activity, which could prompt the Fed to maintain the aggressive pace of its monetary policy tightening. This weighed on the Nasdaq, where Tesla was one of the biggest losers. Shares in the electric car maker slid on news that it plans to cut December output of the Model Y at its Shanghai plant by more than 20% from the previous month. On the S&P 500, the energy sector led the losses as US natural gas futures slumped more than 8% on forecasts of a mild winter in North America. The financial sector also slid on renewed concerns about bad loans. Well, US services activity picked up more than expected in November with employment rebounding, a sign that resilience remains in the economy despite monetary policy tightening. The non-manufacturing PMI lifted to 56.5 last month from 54.4 in October with a reading above 50 indicating expansion in the services sector, which makes up around two thirds of US economic activity. The acceleration in services confirms that spending is shifting away from goods and that price pressures are now being felt in the services sector. In the Eurozone, business activity fell for a fifth month in November as consumers cut spending amid surging inflation. S&P Global's PMI edged up to 47.8, remaining in contractionary territory. And Treasury yields rose on expectations the Fed will continue to raise rates well into next year, though at a slower pace. The inversion of the yield curve, measuring the gap between the yields on the two and 10 year Treasury notes, a signal of recessionary conditions ahead, has expanded to 78 basis points, the 10 year yield rising to 3.58%. The US dollar rose and the Aussie dollar has tumbled from 68.5 US cents to below 67. Well, the Australian share market is set to open lower, with ASX futures currently down around three quarters of a percent. Oil prices have tumbled on concerns that the Fed could continue its aggressive policy tightening path in the wake of that stronger than expected service sector data. Brent crude futures down around three percent to $83 a barrel. And iron ore futures lifted more than two percent on Monday after more cities in China eased COVID restrictions. Base metal prices, they were broadly lower overnight, and gold prices have pulled back sharply as the US dollar rebounded. Gold futures down 1.6% to $1,781 an ounce. Silver falling close to 4%. And the crypto market reflected the risk off sentiment with Bitcoin below 17,000 US dollars. Locally today, the focus will be on the Reserve Bank. The board meeting with the market expecting it will lift interest rates by 25 basis points, taking the cash rate to 3.1%. We'll also get the balance of payments and household spending. That is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.